Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from the right trader.com back today with another daily crypto update. And we're now seeing cryptocurrencies fall even lower after some uh, rumors that EOS is dumping its ether. This is nothing new. This is something that's kind of been ongoing and it's came up multiple times, but today it's coming up again. And it's obvious that the market is not the strongest right now, right? We have been moving lower for several days now. And I think that it's multiple factors that are causing this drop. But what's important to focus on is our support levels, our critical support levels. For example, uh, 500 for Ethereum, 6,500 or 7,000 for Bitcoin, 50 cents for Ripple. Those are levels that we definitely don't want to start moving below because if we do, I think we can expect much more downside and you know really enter an even more bearish market which we obviously don't want to see, but we have to be ready for it. And today, no, nothing new, just more downside, um, even ramping up a little bit, and Ethereum taking an even bigger hit because it's been kind of you know in the spotlight due to this EOS dump. So I'm not gonna get too much into the details of this, but basically uh, what some people suspect is that EOS is dumping all of their coins on, on Bitfinex, their Ether, this has been kind of ongoing and it's created multiple scares, but you know, a lot of evidence has, seems to be mounting against them. And some people find it shady that, you know, Tether uh, printed 250 million um, with kind of in line with the dumping of EOS. And it seems to be, you know, very suspicious how this all went about and it's understandable. So definitely creating some scare, uh, definitely causing Ether to dump even more and it's it's something that could could continue to happen uh, because they do still have 200k ether left in their crowd sale wallet so i'd say right now what i'm personally doing is waiting right i'm waiting to see um are we going to start to stabilize right how much weakness are we really experiencing and i'm just waiting for that right time to get back in basically i'm, I'm not rushing i'm not gonna get back into the market if things are are shaky and that's just my personal opinion. That's not financial advice. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the technicals here. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for live cryptocurrency market updates. Link to that in the description of this video. But to get started with the technicals, Bitcoin is still um, downtrending as you can see. And with a lot of these cryptos, you will see a little bit of a head and shoulders pattern. It's not too obvious on the Bitcoin chart. You'll see it better on the Ethereum chart, but it's not a good pattern, right? That is a bearish pattern, which usually leads to, you know, a break of the support level and more downside movement. So, for example, here for Bitcoin, it would be a break of 6,500 Satoshis, and uh, sorry, dollars, and start moving lower. Definitely possible, but we have to wait and see, right? Make sure uh, that we, we need to wait, see if we're able to get support at $6,500, see if we can bounce and, you know, kind of recover from that level. If we don't, we're, we're probably going to be heading right back down to 5000 and I think that's a gap that we actually never closed. So, you know, it's definitely in the cards here and maybe even, you know, a drop to our longer term uptrend line is also possible, this blue uptrend line right here. So if we move below 6,500 Shoshis, the bottom line is much more downside um, up until, you know, that 5,000 area, give or take. Now let's go ahead and take a look. And I should also mention no signs of really slowing down uh, the downside here, you know, indicators kind of falling off a cliff about to go under the 30 line on the RSI. But going over to Ethereum, Ethereum very sharp drop, uh, definitely downtrending here and the he head and shoulders pattern is much more clear. So I think that we're, we're definitely gonna test $500 and then it's gonna be a matter of, are we gonna be able to get a bounce or are we gonna be moving lower, right? Based on what I said with the head and shoulders pattern, there is a little bit more um, evidence saying that we're gonna move lower uh, down to, you know, our next big support level, which would be around $366. But we would first have to get that confirmation of start to move below $500 to, to give us that, that bearish signal. Indicators also, you know, big rounding down, so not the best sign. Let's take a look at our next cryptocurrency, which is going to be Litecoin, and see what's going on. Litecoin is currently in this little uh, symmetrical triangle pattern, Still downtrending, coming up on that $110 support level. I think that there's a pretty high chance for Litecoin seeing how close it is to its downtrend line right now, that we're not gonna be able to remain above $110, and that we're gonna move down to around $100, 
that's where we have you know multiple support layers being that $100 mark in our uptrend line and that would be a very logical good area to bounce off of let's take a look at our next cryptocurrency which is going to be let's see and I should also mention that this is this pullback here um, which has been going on for a while now basically uh, has a chance to push us back all the way to where we were you know before the big run-up happened right um, and and that's that's a shame but it is what it is you have to adapt nano is currently hanging around 50,000 satoshis it did end up dropping a little bit below that not a good sign at all we still have to see you know maybe we'll be able to create a base at around 50,000 satoshis that would obviously be best if we don't if we start moving lower in this 40,000 satoshi range I think that we're just going to continue to see some pretty nice nasty downside let's take a look at ripple now see what's going on so we're going to take a look it's definitely getting close to 50 cents and I need to go over to the Bitrix chart here so ripple is coming up on 50 cents and you know it does have some support at around 55 cents so we could get a bounce there but we can see that that lower Bollinger Band is starting to point lower and same thing on the indicators so I think that we're, we're definitely going to test 50 cents here and then if we move below 50 cents which is our critical support level we're in for a very nasty drop, drop all the way down to 30 cents which would wipe out you know all our previous gains from the huge run up um, not what we wanted to see but it is looking like a possibility especially like I said if we drop below 50 cents uh, so we, we definitely want to try to avoid that but you know if, if things are already in motion which they are to a certain extent you, you can't go against the trend right let's take a look at our next cryptocurrency which is going to be let's see next crypto is NEO and take a look at what's going on so NEO is currently um, not able to find support at around fifty dollars and we're heading right back down to forty three dollars once again once again that is a critical support level for NEO right back when it had its previous run-up so if we move lower than that, we'll probably re-enter this range over here near $20 and $43. And basically, we'll have wiped out all the gains that we made, right, um, in, in the past few months. Let's take a look at our next cryptocurrency, which is going to be Stellar Lumens, and see if it's also getting affected like the rest of the market. So Stellar Lumens is actually managing to hold up decently well. We're still in this range between 3,500 and 4,000 Satoshis. It's been moving um against the crown a little bit so it's not necessarily following the general market trends however that's not to say that we're not going to fall lower right there's definitely a fair chance that we do end up dropping lower uh, down to 3000 or even 2500 satoshis but i do think it'll hold up a little bit better than other cryptos let's take a look at our next uh crypto and that is going to be vertcoin see what's happening smaller cryptocurrencies obviously have a harder time of withstanding uh these market turmoils and that's why we're heading right back down to a dollar and 54 cents seeing how a lot of cryptos seem to at least have a bit more downside to go i think that we will move below that critical support level uh, and that's that's not what we wanted to see for for vertcoin that will have removed all previous gains and you know it'll just put us back in this you know basically below a dollar probably let's go ahead and take a look at our next cryptocurrency which is going to be let's see next up is lisk and take a look at what's going on so Lisk is currently right at around eight dollars. Pretty big red candlestick here today, and we we are also you know still fully downtrending now. Indicators also taking a hit. I think that we're gonna come and rest around five dollars here, which is a nice round number to get some support at. But I do think that we're gonna be heading back there and testing the level. Hopefully, won't be moving lower than that. Let's go ahead and take a look at Cardano. Cardano, I believe, has held up a little bit better than other cryptos, actually. So let's see what's going on with Cardano. And once again, Cardano does move to does tend to move a little bit uh, different than other cryptos. But here we are also experiencing, you know, a bit of a head and shoulders pattern, still downtrending. Uh, it looks like we're even starting to dip below that 2,500 Satoshi support level. And I think that we're in for a drop down to 2,000 Satoshis here. It's kind of been a long time coming, but it is what it is. Let's take a look at our last cryptocurrency of the daily crypto update, and that's going to be IOTA. Now, IOTA is below $1.44, which was our important support level. Now, I think that we're fully uh, in for a drop down to a dollar, a dollar and ten cents. You know, that's where we want to see a bounce. Otherwise, if we drop below a dollar, uh, things can get very nasty for IOTA. 
and you know that that would be major support level loss hopefully they will be be able to get some kind of support at around that one dollar mark but with that being said this is the end of the daily crypto update not the best day the market is definitely looking pretty weak and at this point we can only hope that we get a bounce uh, within these next few critical support levels or else we will probably get some extended downside movement thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you next time